you ever notice, we always refer in the Old and New Testament to the God of Abraham, Isaac. Shalom, everybody. Um, definitely go listen to him. He has some very good points to add to it. Absolutely, Ishmael received an inheritance. Absolutely, Ishmael was there to lay Abraham's body to rest. Absolutely, Abraham loved Ishmael and his descendants, his grandbabies. But I'm going to bring it to you this way. They call it the Abrahamic religions. Christianity, Judaism, and Islam. But I am here to tell you the Lord revealed many years ago, about almost a decade, that religion was created by Satan to cause division. There is no way that the descendants of the Ishmaelites and the descendants of the Israelites will ever be one if we keep allowing religion to play a factor. The Ishmaelites are the Arabic people. The Israelites are that Israelites, they're Hebrew people, they're cousins, but they keep allowing religion to tear them apart, to keep them segregated, to keep them separated. The Lord in 2019, September 2019, he told me, Time to let religion go. Time to go underground to learn about me from the Holy Spirit through the receiving the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh. He will teach you my word. You will get to see me in a more intimate way, and that's what he is compelling his children, no matter if they're Arabic or Israelite, Ishmaelite or Israelites. He wants you to get to know him from his point of view, the Holy Spirit's point of view, Yahushua's point of view, the underground churches of Iran, Afghanistan, even the imitation Israel over there. They, if they lay religion aside, they have the chance to get to know the one true Yah, Yahuwah, the Father, Yahushua. sons could very well be the two lampstands, the two groups of people that nobody expects to ever get along, and that is the Israelites, which are the melanated indigenous of Africa, Europe, and the Americas, as well as the Arabic people of what we call Africa, Europe, Americas, Middle East, Asia, two have to become one. They could be the two lampstands that unite. The two children that are recognized. Now we know Abraham had many other children after Sarah with Keturah. That's where we get the Ethiopians and the Eastern Africans tribes. But Ishmael cannot be ignored in the end days because they lead a very prophetic part of the Bible. Israel cannot be ignored in the last days because they lead a very prophetic part of the Bible. Both must unite and become one. Unity. Read John chapter 17 of how unity is going to be the sign that shows the world that Yahuwah is still in command and the only true living God. It's time to unite, but it won't happen unless y'all lay the religion down. I pray this helps somebody. Shalom, shalom.